The surging COVID-19 pandemic has to date caused the death of 780,000 lives across the globe. The pandemic is suffocating the world economy and affects the livelihood of everyone. Millions of jobs were lost as non-essential businesses had to close their doors during lockdown. Our major cities were turned into ghost towns to prevent the rapid spread of the virus. Businesses that took years to build and jobs that were the only income for families were on the line. This ignited protests all over the world owing to its impact on the economy and jobs. It's simple to realize that when a country's economy or GDP goes down, unemployment goes up. Some of the reasons for the GDP contraction being business shutdown, less production of products, less spending by consumers, decline in tourism and decline in global trade. First, let's understand GDP. Gross domestic product is the monetary value of all finished goods and services made within a country during a specific period. GDP provides an economic snapshot of a country used to estimate the size of an economy and its growth. Now let's understand unemployment rate. The unemployment rate is a key labor market indicator widely used around the world to illustrate the performance of the labor market and the economy's ability to generate jobs. There are three groups, employed, out of labor force and unemployed. The unemployment rate is the number of unemployed persons divided by the total labor force. Now let's look at how COVID-19 has impacted the GDP and jobs of certain countries. The United States ranked as the world's largest economy by nominal GDP in 2019 at $21.4 trillion. China ranked second at $14.1 trillion. Germany ranked fourth at $3.8 trillion. And South Africa ranked 35th at $0.38 trillion. During the pandemic, the world's top economies suffered a drop of 1.8% in the first quarter and a slump of 9.5% in the second quarter. This resulted in a spike in the unemployment rate from 3.5% in February to 10.2% in July 2020, the highest since World War II and up from months of historic lows. In numbers, it increased from 5.7 million to 16.3 million. That's more than half of the population of Texas. China suffered a slump of 10% in the first quarter and in the second quarter, its economy rebounded by 11.5%. Thanks to their strict lockdown measures, it was able to largely halt the spread of the virus and reopen factories. China's unemployment rate went up from 5.2% in December 2019 to 6% in April 2020. This slight increase compared to the rest of the world raised some eyebrows and it might not be an accurate reflection of the impact of the pandemic. Europe's top economy was hit less hard by the coronavirus than its neighbors, but saw its GDP fall 2% in the first quarter and by 10.1% in the second quarter. This is the largest fall since the beginning of quarterly GDP calculations by Germany in 1970, with GDP falling by 4.7% during the first quarter of the 2009 financial crisis. Germany's unemployment rate went up from 3.3% in December 2019 to 4.2% in June. South Africa, the second largest economy in Africa, saw a decrease of 2% in the first quarter and it is estimated that it contracted more than 30% in the second quarter. And if the GDP of South Africa continues to shrink, Jeff Bezos' fortune of 190 billion and growing might be more than the GDP of South Africa in 2021. South Africa's unemployment rate hit a record high during the pandemic. It is the first time ever it's passed the 30% mark, and it is estimated that more than 7 million people are without jobs. This is a major crisis in a country that was already in a recession before the pandemic arrived. When the increase in the unemployment rates are compared, it is clear that the United States has seen a much higher increase than the other countries. According to the World Bank's forecast, the global economy will shrink by 5.2% in 2020. That would represent the deepest recession since the Second World War. The COVID-19 pandemic has moved beyond a health crisis and has created a larger socio-economic crisis that can be seen and felt around the world. This all has impacted the mental health 
and well-being of the whole society and must be considered a priority. Stay safe and take care of yourself.